Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I was just about to refresh my curls but I figured I would do it on camera with you guys and also talk to you about how pregnancy is ruining my curly hair. Now I'm being dramatic but over the past few weeks, basically like the past few wash days, I've noticed some changes in my hair that we're going to get into in this video. Up until this point in my pregnancy, I haven't really noticed anything too different, good or bad when it comes to my hair and all the hormonal changes that happen during pregnancy. But I am currently 30 seven weeks pregnant and I'm noticing there's lots of changes going on not only with my hair but just like <laughs> with my whole body so we're gonna get into it in this video if you see me bouncing or if you hear any of that it's because I'm sitting on my little exercise ball I'll try to be still but yeah I'm sitting on this little ball right now so I did a full wash day yesterday morning these are pretty much my day two curls and they honestly don't look that bad like I said earlier I am being a little dramatic when I say pregnancy ruined my curls but you know personally when something is a little off, whether it comes to your hair, your skin, your body, before anybody else can even realize, and I feel like that's my case right now. Like, it's not anything too crazy. I'm, I'm not bald, not yet, but I just <laughs> notice like little things that are changing. If you're a woman watching this video, which I'm pretty sure 90% of my viewers are women or like young girls, you've probably heard over and over again how pregnancy does wonders for your hair. It makes it healthier, stronger, longer thicker all these like great things and that's because of all the changes that are happening with your hormones during pregnancy so much is going on internally during pregnancy you have increased levels of estrogen and androgen which promote shinier and healthier looking hair and you can also experience changes with your curl pattern or just the texture of your hair whether your hair is curly straight wavy and I feel like that is something that has been happening with my hair by now in my pregnancy I thought my hair would be like 30 inches long down to my butt but that's really not the case for me I feel like like my hair has grown but it's only grown at like the same rate that it would have if I wasn't pregnant I feel like my hair naturally grows at a pretty good rate and over the past nine months it's grown but definitely not anything more or less than I would have expected it to grow in nine months you know what I mean I do think my curls have been looking a little healthier a little shinier but other than that I haven't really seen too much of a difference when it comes to like all the positive things related to pregnancy hair. There are two changes that I've been noticing the past few weeks in my hair. I am so upset. Not them starting construction while I'm trying to film. I've noticed that in some places my curls are getting a little looser, specifically like towards the back of my head and a little bit towards the frame of my face as well. So this is something that is a little bit worrisome because I know postpartum as well, there's a lot of hair changes that happen and that's mostly when your texture can change. So if it's kind of starting already now, I'm a little nervous to see what's gonna happen after I give birth. Right here, I'm just trying to show you guys a little comparison on how some of my curls have been curling lately versus what they normally look like. The second change that I've noticed in my hair is I feel like it is less dense. Like for some reason, I feel like I have less hair on my head. I notice especially when I try to put my hair up in ponytails or buns, they just feel smaller and not as full. And it's weird because I haven't really noticed like major chunks of hair falling out. I feel like for the most part, all I've noticed is like the normal amount of hair shedding. But for some reason, it feels like I have less hair on my head. Okay, so to refresh my hair, I'm keeping it really simple and I'm gonna use the same gel that I used to style my hair yesterday. So this is the Aqua Gel from the brand Trust. I really like this one. Yesterday I used this and their leave-in conditioner to style. I'll link it down below. I actually got this from a brand called Verge, which is like a one-stop shop for all beauty products, all hair products. You can find everything you need on this website. So I'm gonna link their website down below. But I'm just going to apply this after dampening my hair with some water and trying to kind of redefine some of the the curls that I feel like are a little bit stringy and not as spirally as I would like them to be.
Next, I'm using this texturizing thought spray from Hrisos Curls, and this is made to enhance your texture, volume, and add shapes. So I'm just spraying this all over, flipping my hair from side to side, and then I'm gonna just scrunch that in a little bit and let my hair air dry. Now that it's somewhat quiet, we'll get back to this real-time talking before they start jackhammering again. But I just finished doing my little curl refresh. I focused mostly on the front of my hair and the curls in the back. I feel like it's looking better already. I'm going to let it air dry and then I'll fluff it out and also add a little bit of this oil. This is a new one I got from Wella. I really like this. This is the serum actually. It's a luminous smoothing oil. It smells so good and it feels really nice and it gives my hair a really nice shine and helps control the frizz. So I'm going to apply this once my hair is completely dry. It's still a little bit damp right now. I'll also leave a few links to articles I was reading about pregnancy and hair changes. If you guys would like to learn more, they'll be in my description box. Just a few articles from Google that I was reading to learn more about it myself. So my hair is pretty much completely dry. It only took a few minutes because it was just a little damp. I didn't completely re-soak it to refresh it. But like I said, I'm going to use this little oil serum from Wella. This is from the Oil Reflections line. And this feels so good. Like the consistency of this is like so smooth it smells so good too i love 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 wella products but i'm just running this over my curls and then i'm going to fluff out my hair a little bit i'm gonna use this little hair pick to fluff out my curls And these are my day two curls after a little refresh. They definitely look better than they did. In the beginning of this video, I have some more definition, have some more volume, and it looks pretty good. Like I said earlier, this wasn't like a major update. Nothing crazy, crazy has been happening, but I did want to update you guys on some things that I've noticed. And I will keep you guys updated on how my postpartum hair journey goes. That is something I'm actually pretty nervous about because you usually hear about like postpartum hair shedding, hair loss, and all that stuff. So I'm nervous to see what is going to happen to my hair after I give birth, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated with my routines and what I'm doing to hopefully prevent those things or to help my hair grow back if I do get like a crazy amount of shedding and stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if there's any curly hair videos you guys would like to see. I officially packed up all of my nail stuff, so I'm gonna try and focus a little more on curly hair content over the next few weeks or as much as I can until I pop this baby out. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you're subscribed before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.